the Bible say in, in John 7, 24, the Bible says, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Ten reasons why you should marry an ugly person. Yes, ten reasons why you should marry a ugly person. Number one, they will not cheat on you. Yes, they will not cheat on you. Amen. Glory to God. Number two, they will be committed to the relationship to the end. Yes, they will be committed to the relationship unto the end. Number three, they will not change after they are married to you. Yeah, they tell you these are ten C's. You go to God. Number four, they will not chase other people, especially your friends. Yes, they will not chase other people, especially your friends. Glory to God. Number five, they will they will love you, not your cash or your clothes or your car, but they will love you as a person. Hey, glory to God. Come on now. Number six, they will be connected to you as the Bible say, you two become one flesh. Hey, glory to God. I'm talking about how, glory to God, to 10 reasons how to marry an ugly person. I would say, don't judge according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Number, number seven, they will, they will have a beautiful, they, they will have beautiful children for you. Why? Because the person you marry is not according to looks, but according to their character. Hey, glory to God. Number eight, they will be faithful to Christ. Yes, they will be faithful. And that's a problem we have in our world, my friend. You marry somebody that not faithful to Christ, but they're faithful to Satan. And when they're faithful to Satan, my friend, they will keep on cheating on you because they are faithful to the wrong creature. God is a creator. He's not a creature. God was not created. God was self-existence, my friend. So if you're trying to find, if you're trying to marry somebody ugly, my friend, you will, you will marry this person until the end. I mean that the glory to God, they will hold to their vow, they will hold to their commitment, and they will hold your hand even in public. Why? Because they're not cheating on you. And you can, you can, you can, you can walk with them in, in the daytime and the nighttime. Hey, glory to God. Hey, glory to number number nine reason they'll be faithful to the church. Hey, glory. Yes, they were faithful to the church, my friend. You can find them in the church because they are faithful to Christ. They'll be faithful to the church. Hey, glory to God. Number ten reason I'm gone. They will not. They will not challenge you on your kindness. What they will not challenge you on your kindness because, my friend, when you marry an ugly person, my friend, you will have to worry about whether somebody else is eyeing them. They become your security God. He glory to God. They become a person that you can invite, and they will say, "This is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with because that person loved me, not because of the beauty. Because the Bible says, beauty is vain, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised." So I'm telling you, right, my friend, ten reasons why you should marry an ugly person. Now, beauty is in the eyes of beholder. And we don't know what beauty defined as. Beauty defined as a person, my friend, listen to me. A person not because they're cute. A person on the inside. Because the Bible say, my friend, the abundance of the heart and the mouth speaks. So a lot of people marry people because they looks. And guess what, my friend? You become lost. A lot of people marry people because they looks and become a person that's luxurious. A lot of people marry a person because they looks, my friend. And they end up, they, they end up be a be a filth the looker's sake. You can't marry somebody because they looks. You gotta marry somebody because of love. L-O-V-E. Love. Until then, my friend, may God bless you richly. Amen.